match last night, especially for football players and former football players. Yeah, you guys are right. And after talking with former Chiefs players today, I'm told the mental aspect is going to be the toughest hurdle for current players in the NFL. After witnessing what happened last night to DeMar Hamlin, whether you were at the game or just watching it on TV, there's a feeling of what if that many guys are dealing with today. Yeah, there, there's always a lens that you watch the game through. And as former players, we see it differently than most fans. As football fans, we've all watched so many games and we've seen injuries happen during those games, but nothing to the extent of what we all witnessed Monday night. I had never been in a situation where somebody was even close to that level. As the football community as a whole reacts to the horrific news of DeMar Hamlin's condition, former Chiefs players Danon Hughes and Bill Moss are offering up their perspective. During his time as a Chief, Moss played in two games where he witnessed another player sustain an injury, leaving him paralyzed. Mike Utley with the Lions and Dennis Bird with the Jets. I played in both those games and saw that, and the same things occurred. Uh, the players came out in the field and were devastated. Despite that, Moss said last night, left him in shock. I've seen uh, a lot of concussions. I've seen a lot of people knocked out in games, I've seen a lot of injuries, bad injuries. Um, but when that happened, I didn't, I've never seen anything like that. While Moss says nothing can prepare you for those moments, he said he was proud of the leadership the Bills and Bengals teams both showed. We all recognize that this guy was human and uh, you know that the severity of this is totally different than anything we've ever experienced. As the Chiefs and other teams return to their practice facilities Tuesday, Hughes says many could be struggling with the what if. Even though these players for the Chiefs were not on that field last night, I guarantee you in practice, in the meetings, in weight rooms, etc., there was constant thought of like, oh my gosh, what if it happens to one of my brothers in here? What if it happens to me? Both Bill Moss and Dana Hughes said that NFL teams have mental health specialists available to players and staff every day and that many guys are going to need some time to get their heads right and talk to someone before they're able to jump right back into practice or even a game. In the newsroom, I'm Mackenzie Nelson, KSHB 41 News.